I think balance methods uh, can be summarized into three main aspects. I would say the, the first powerful thing is um, the method itself. In balance method, you have the word method, and it means that you are following a logical process from your mm -hmm. diagnosis mm -hmm. to a combination of points. So this brings a lot of power because you don't have to memorize points and you feel very safe because you're following three simple steps. So you know what you're doing. Yeah, here, yeah. when I put the knee this way. This way, you yeah. feel it here. here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, what is the intensity when you pull this way? Six. Six. Okay. For example, I know we have some students, they feel like, oh my God, now we have, uh, we have a strategy, we have a logic. So we don't feel like um, we have to select points by, by chance. Oh. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. I would say the second important uh, point is that it brings instant results. Oh. 30% less? 30% less? Yeah. Okay. Where is the remaining? Yeah. Ah, oh, not just right there. Mm -hmm. So this is great because, again, it brings you uh, confidence in what you're doing. You can always um, double check at the moment with the patient what you're doing is working. You don't need to wait for the next week. This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, you don't say a thing, but you show the usher on your, on your face. <laughs> Okay, now you can again move a little bit. Very good. Okay, now you can um, test again. 20% or 10%? 10% left? Okay, very good. Give me five. And that's also very important to build trust with your patient because when you needle them and within seconds they, they feel the improvement. And of course, they cannot say it improved by itself. They have to admit it's from what you just did a few seconds before. And I would say the last point is that it's very handy um, because we never needle the affected area. So if you have a patient coming for uh, pain because of a surgery, and then anytime there has been a surgery, you don't want to put any needle where it was. You don't want to create any infection, uh, for example. So that way you can always needle another part of the body. This is also important if you are running a, like a community clinic, meaning that you're treating several patients in the same room, then you don't need to undress them because you can always work out your way with points pretty distal from the tip of the finger or the toes to the elbow or the knee. So it saves a lot of time and it saves space because you don't need individual rooms for each patient. Altogether, having a, a strategy and that gives you instant result by needling uh, distal points, all these together give you great uh, efficacy and efficiency of your treatment. So it's also a pretty fast process. So you can treat more patients if, if that's what you want to do. If it's necessary, you can treat more patients in less time. So your treatments can be also more affordable. I would say balance method is not just acupuncture per se. Um, if I can put it in another context, balance method is, is also a lineage as well as a, as a community. I think if you're interested to, to learn something, and, and perhaps some of you viewing this are curious about different teachers or different lineage, I think it's very important to choose based on, on, the, on the who. Uh, who is the teacher? Uh, where do they receive their knowledge from? Uh, who, are, who are they as people? I don't say that to say I am the best or Suryan is the best, but uh, you all have a choice. And um, it's just a reminder, perhaps, uh, for you to make a good choice for yourself is uh, who are you receiving this uh, knowledge from? When I speak about lineage, um, you may have heard, of course, of, of someone named Dr. Richard Tehutan. He was the, um, the individual, the acupuncture practitioner uh, and teacher who systematized what people call balance method nowadays. So this is the first person that I think you should know about. And what I would say is he was, in terms of acupuncture, he was uh, really a, a genius and perhaps even a, a, a pioneer to systematize acupuncture in, in a very user-friendly way. What you may receive if you connect with our, our, our lineage is the so-called six balance systems that he, he organized from 
uh, thousands of years of Chinese medicine history. Some of you may have studied Chinese medicine, but it's hard to differentiate what is actually clinically effective or not. And that was his, his main life work to make it uh, to sort of sort of filter out uh, from the history of Chinese medicine what actually can work according to some of the characteristics that, that uh, Delphine spoke about, like instant results and uh, this kind of efficacy. And another second very important thing that we often like to say about this person, Dr. Richard Tan, is that even if he was a genius, uh, it wouldn't really help humanity if he wasn't also generous. So we can we can say he's a he was a generous genius in the sense that he actually taught everything that he he knew. Um, and I say pioneer earlier because uh, that's uh, not conventional in, in uh, coming from an Asian or, or, or Chinese tradition. We often are conservative because um, um, maybe due to competition, we want to keep it within the family. But in the modern time, he's one of the one of the first actually to, to openly teach uh, uh, some things that were perhaps secret in the past. I can say much more about him, but speaking of it, lineage, it began at least in, in, in the modern times with him. And we are honored to be his uh, longtime students. Um, and by destiny, perhaps, uh, it's actually a mystery how, how it all came together. <clears throat> we were honored to be, you know, one of the uh, two of the three that were given um, sort of a mandate or his, his permission or his blessing uh, at the end of 2015 to continue his teaching after, after he passed away, unfortunately. As uh, the Suyuan generation, um, as possibly your, your teachers or instructors, what we try to transmit, of course, is the Mm, the direct teachings of, of our of our of our master, Dr. Richard Tan, but we are also in this generation uh, as as sort of uh, students uh, teaching. You guys would be considered grand students of Dr. Tan. Is we want to define also for for this generation what what we are about. We call it Siren. That's our name, but we have three three values that that we would like to impart to you as part of this uh, family or community. The first. Uh, uh, Delphine already spoke about, which the first uh, is, is effectiveness or, or efficacy. We want, when you join our community, to get something that is of very practical uh, value. It's not just learning something uh, theoretical, but it's something you can immediately put into practice and increase your, your results and success. And of course, balanced method is not the only, only modality that can do that. There are many. But uh, it leads us to the second value, which is uh, efficiency, which simply means you can be very effective, but if it takes you a long time, right, or after the treatment, you're exhausted, right? And so you can only treat two people a day, let's say. Uh, then also that's not good. You need effectiveness or efficacy as well as efficiency. You have to be able to do, do things in a, in a simple way. And the final Siren core value, if you will, is another E. We have efficacy, efficiency, and enjoyment. So. If it's effective, you know, and you're efficient, you can go from treating one person every two hours to maybe two people per hour, right? You can uh, save energy that way. Um, but if you don't enjoy it, if it's boring, right? Always just a cookbook recipe point, then also we feel like that's not what we want to, to give to. We want to give you something that is fun, actually. Sometimes we like to say, um, we teach you these three steps uh, about the balance method and acupuncture becomes almost like a game, like you're solving a puzzle, we, like a crossword puzzle or a Sudoku. It gives you a very clear uh, process to, to solve this kind of uh, equation or solve this problem that the patient has. And that's fun. I think the, um, those three values like, uh, like efficacy, efficiency and enjoyment, uh, to us it's very important that it, they exist in different ways. Like mm -hmm. they, they exist in our classes. That's mm -hmm. what we, we, we try to create as an atmosphere. Yes. But we also hope that uh, it will. You also will create that in your clinic. You will feel empowered by this efficiency, efficacy, and enjoyment, and that will um, change the atmosphere of your clinic and change the feeling you have when you're treating patients. Mm. And ultimately, we hope that this can affect and inspire not only your professional life but also your personal life and maybe the one of your uh, patients and maybe even the one of your friends, because it's. It's one of our philosophies to, that we inherited from Dr. Tan is to create a change. And this change that, that is uh, one of the um, uh, principles that, that we really believe in, this idea of change, uh, yeah, we, all, we hope it will affect uh, yourself, 
uh, professionally, personally, and the people around you and bring just inspiration that can affect maybe the whole world little by little. If you feel a bit um, maybe stuck uh, or uninspired and you want to learn something new, some new ideas, um, then I, I invite, we invite you to, to, to join our, our class. I think connected to what Delphine said is, and it's not just us, even when, when Dr. Tan taught is that something that really affects me when people say after the class, they go home and apply it. Some say they were going to quit actually uh, acupuncture practice, which is, which is such a, such a pity actually. But I really believe, you know, balance method is, um, is actually sacred in a way to just like Delphine was saying, it's you're, you're, you're rebalancing uh, a lot of the imbalance that people have in their life and even in the world. So, um, a lot of our students say that coming to the class changed their changed their life. I think the the principles and practices of, of Siren uh, again moves actually beyond just the clinic, yeah, or the classroom. It's actually it's almost like a culture or a lifestyle. Um, and the reason that is the case is because the acupuncture, the balance by the acupuncture, is rooted in something deeper. Chinese medicine is a certain uh, way of of viewing health, let's say, or physiology. That's number one which is different, for instance, than Western medicine. There are obvious differences. Why? It's not random. It's because Chinese medicine or Chinese physiology, as, as we apply in acupuncture, is, is rooted in Chinese philosophy, which is a certain way of viewing life. And as you have all heard of, right, the philosophy is basically yin-yang, right? Everything is connected in, in relationships. And this philosophy, actually, we teach and speak about often in our ba classes. So we have balanced method acupuncture, A, and we have balanced method ba zi b so that philosophy often comes up or we apply it to uh, birth chart analysis and sort of to complete the picture is chinese medicine physiology is rooted in a certain philosophy chinese philosophy but that philosophy it didn't just come out of nowhere it came out of certain observations so chinese philosophy is also rooted in something deeper which we can call chinese uh, cosmology which is a certain way of viewing reality and I would say the, the first Chinese uh, cosmologists were Taoists. You may have heard of Taoism. They were Taoists, observing nature. Observing nature in the sky, observing nature on earth, observing nature within. And in, in the Suyuan lineage and community, we, we uh, address that level more with the, the si, which is cultivation. Or in Chinese, we call it gongfa. Sometimes I think acupuncture nowadays is it's very medicalize and they just say oh meridians are like nerves yeah or the my you know maybe they're like arteries and and to me that is missing some of the the depth of what chinese medicine is uh, to make it so material it's something actually that is that is deeper so just to just to bring it kind of full circle is that it's practical right this is not just the abstract philosophy or some you know theoretical uh, ideas everything is applicable uh, for you guys if you're acupuncturist in in the clinic so you can connect all these things together to, to elevate your your practice elevate your business i think uh, among the the three points that i first introduced at the beginning uh, meaning the method the um, uh, instant result and and then the um, distal needling there are two that are in common between Dr. Tan's balance method and Master Tung's points. And those two points they have in common and is that they are um, they give uh, instant result and through the needling of distal points. However, there is a big difference and that is already in the name, like we talk about Dr. Tan's balance method and we talk about Master Tung's points. So it means that um, when you study Master Tong's points, you have to memorize all those points and you have to memorize uh, where they are, their indications, how to needle them, which angle, which depth, and etc. etc. So that's a lot of things to memorize and and for each point. So the first thing is the the difference between the two is that with Dr. Tan's balance method, you have very little to memorize. You just need to know the process and then the points automatically unfold. And the other consequence of that is that you are limited by that many points that Master Tong discovered and shared with the world. They are already a lot, but you're still limited now. I mean, unfortunately, he passed away and then we are left with his inheritance of these points, but um, we are limited to them. Versus when you use Dr. Tan's balance method, then you are 
and limited any little area any point any millimeter of the body can become an acupuncture point and you know why it gives you a lot of freedom because if for any reason there is a point that you cannot use let's say your patient has i don't know is amputated or has a scar or any reason why you cannot use this point then you can always find another point by applying the logic so it gives you a lot of choices and a lot of freedom this is also why it makes the method fun and it, it makes the method to me more artistic versus when you just um, apply like book recipes like okay there is headache I do this point, there is knee pain I do this point. Well I personally find this kind of boring <laughs> and, and, and when you use a method you, you have fun, you try something and you keep on learning so it has many levels of depth and you can improve your whole life and discover new ways of treating certain areas. I, I learned some more what is called traditional medicine in school than I was feeling hard. This is almost esoteric, it's very complicated, it's not practical and I have to memorize so much. And what, what, where is this idea of uh, Chinese medicine that is artistic, holistic, practical, immediate result and I found this is really embodied in Dr. Tan's balance method. Mm -hmm. So the word you said earlier is, is really relevant, is, is empowering, mm -hmm. um, empowering you all to apply uh, theory and practice together. We like to teach you how to, how to think, or, or like Dr. Tan would say, rather than feeding you the fish, mm -hmm. maybe even cooking it for you, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, teaching you how to fish for yourself. And, and this way of thinking is, is like Delphin said, a, a holistic philosophy mm -hmm applied to an to a integrated system of acupuncture. Whereas some styles would say, say for lower back pain, oh, this is how we treat lower back pain. And another style says, no, that's wrong. This is how we treat it. So you have style A, B, C, D, maybe including Master Dong, arguing about what is the best point. So that's sort of arguing at this level about different stylistic differences. But uh, what we try to transmit is sort of a systematic thinking that is that can see the whole landscape, why the style does work or doesn't work, we can resolve those differences. The first two days are mainly uh, about all local problems. It will be a mix of theory and demonstration and practice, so you, we always welcome students to bring in patients. And we will walk you through uh, local problems that could be knee pain, back pain, neck pain, uh, ankle pain, from very simple problems uh, up to problems that in, uh, involve a lot of meridians and that are in different places of the body. And then the uh, last two days are uh, more about internal problems. So you will learn how to treat a digestion problem, allergy, respiratory problems, and also urinary disorders and gynecological disorders, cardiological disorders. And all this, you, you will, the purpose is that you learn how to treat them yourself. And we will make sure in the class there is practice time and you can experience your own instant result yourself, no matter it's a, a pain problem or it's an internal problem with other kind of discomfort. And then Paul will introduce more um, his Gong Fa and, yeah, and so, in a very mm. practical way also so that you guys you can benefit directly from it and it will also affect your patient. In the, in the mornings we will start with some uh, self-care cultivation. So the idea is you apply your clinical or your balance method effectively but uh, we also want to give you uh, some concepts and practices to take care of yourself, so for your self-care. In other words, applying the ba balance and method principles on your own, on your own wellness, on your own health. Then I'm really looking forward to seeing it actualize and to meeting some of you soon. Okay, so now I'm going to check. Uh, you were patient? Okay. Yes. Um, so they treated you, now is everything gone? Ah, uh, key. okay. And then let me see what they did. Okay, kidney. Uh, so in this, this area that is uh, still painful, I think it's more, it's in between, actually UB, it's more on the UB, okay? It's more on the UB channel. So I need to, if I want to finish the work, then I want to check and I do check they did use the kidney, yes. okay, y opposite y side, so this is correct. But 
This is a little bit uh, too distal comparing to the where is the remaining pain. So I will add one more needle, try to get rid of this remaining pain here. So I add one more needle, a little bit more proximal on the kidney channel. And then you can move a little bit, tell me where is your pain. <laughs> it's okay. If no more, no more. No more? Okay, very good. Give me five. Thank you.